The match was over as a contest after 25 minutes, by which time Australia had built up a lead of 24 points. A first-minute tackle by Philip Matthews led to the Australian scrum half Nick Farr-Jones having to go off injured. It stung the Australians into top form, and they completely outplayed the Irish, scoring three tries, all converted, and two penalty goals, without reply in the opening period. Nothing was working from an Irish point of view, but we seemed set for a huge defeat. But things got a little better in the second half, Ireland scoring 15 points to 9 for Australia. The Irish tries were scored by Michael Kiernan and Hugo McNeil, with Kiernan also kicking two conversions in a penalty. The Irish performance in the second half restored some of our pride, but there was no doubt that the better team won. Neil Francis and Brendan Mullen had to leave the field because of injury during the game and were replaced by Brian Spillane and David Irwin. In the semi-finals, Australia meet France, who beat Fiji 31-15 today, and New Zealand await the winners of tomorrow's game between England and Wales.